Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are actually taking the Aerosoft CRJ, which I have never showcased on the channel yet. At least, not in MSFS. Um, we're going to take it from Luxembourg over to Munich. This is a real world flight, as, as I usually do. And, uh, yeah, let's get going. So we're going to start with the power initialization. Circuit breakers are checked. No dual steering is off. The hydraulic pumps are all off. And gear down, spoilers, retracted flaps set to the actual position, so zero. Radars one and two are off. Parking brake is set, ADG is stowed. Flap, uh, emergency flap is set to normal. And we can now turn on the battery. We'll verify that the battery voltage is at least 22 volts, which it is. And we can then apply the external power. Now lights come on. IRS is to nav, and we'll do the uh, initialization here. So we check status page one, make sure all the data here is checked. Go to the next page, that's a little bug here, but that's fine. Um, verify the model variant, all the all the data that we need, and then we go to position init, and we're going to plug in the uh, first page for the position init. So we start at Luxembourg, copy the GNS position, and paste it in here. And that is the power initialization flow complete. We now head over to the overhead. Everything is checked. We just want to make sure everything is set as required. Do a fire test. Too bad this test does go really quick, so I'll have to press it up multiple times. We're just checking for all the correct indications. Go to status. Uh, you would also see that the fire system OK is displayed. And then the last piece is the cargo which was fine. Hydraulics, no lights, and so lights is required. Lights all off here. This is all checked. Normal, auto, closed, and both engines for now. Pa APU, we don't require just yet. Um, everything checks out, and we do a hydraulic test. So, go to status, verify that the uh, verify that the hydraulic uh, one and two closed messages are extinguished. And then we go ahead and go to the hydraulic page. And we're going to turn on all hydraulics except for 3A. We should see 3000 PSI. Temperatures are fine. Quantity should be fine. Verify that everything is powered. Of course, in the real world, you would also contact ground. Um, but we're fine there. Then go to back to status page. Now, I think this is where the simulation is not 100%. We would then do a stab trim test. You can see the spoiler stab and test indication appears, um, but um, nothing really af really happens after that. Here we go, that goes away. We go back to hydraulics, set these to auto, and then turn on 3A. Verify that there's 3000 PSI in 3A system. And that checks out, and we can then turn this back off. And that is the check. ELT is armed, passenger oxygen is guarded. Our landing elevation in Munich is 1,487 feet. So we're gonna go ahead and select 1,480. Go 1,480 should be set now. Checked, this is set to the full decrease. Everything else checks, pa uh, air conditioning stays off for now. Circulation fans, aft cargo um, fans on. This stays off. We'll do a detection test, so ice. And we should also see the ADS heat test okay. Windshield to low. Rest is fine. No smoking on. Seatbelt signs will stay off for now and arm the emergency exit lights. Standby. Instrument checks out. Now do a stall warning test. In fact, I think this is easier if I were to do it like so. So continuous ignition. Continuous ignition on, all lights, and the shaker is also active. And we'll now continue with this panel here. Go and set the bearings, set the range down to 10. Nav source is FMS1, we'll go to terrain for now. Traffic is engaged. All this is set and reset. Take the weather and set our altimeter 1012. And the rest is checked. We do an RA test, but currently the IRSs are not yet aligned, so that's fine. Proper voice recorder test. That checks out. 
An anti skid test, so turn it off. You should see anti skid inboard and outboard is caution lights illuminate. When we turn it back to armed, it extinguishes. Gear obey, overheat. Six. Set to N1. Everything is checked here. Arm these and verify the indications. Flaps up. All that is checked. Hawk trim, set this to standby. Everything checks out here. There we go, yaw damper. We can go ahead and arm so the yaw damper indication should go out. RA test, X. And everything else here looks good as well. Okay. Now go ahead and load up the aircraft. So let's go to aircraft, then no, sorry, performance. Let's check out our flight plan here. Our flight plan says we've got we require four thousand five hundred and seventy. I'm gonna go four thousand five hundred or four four thousand six hundred kilograms of fuel. Our passenger count is eighty. And our zero fuel weight is supposed to be thirty one one. There we go. Set payload. Press it twice. 311 is checked. Nice and balanced. Get the fuel is here. Perfect. And now we do the flight plan. So we uh, go a J. Basically go around like this, like a basically like a J. We start with the flight plan. And we're gonna go Echo Lima Lima X-ray to Munich. Our alternate, we can just check um, here is Zurich. We'll execute. Our flight number is Lufthansa Triple to Alpha. That is the city line. Our departure, runway 24. The Asmox for Zulu. And execute. Go to flight plan. Next page. And enter in our flight plan. Since we don't have it exported. We're just going to enter this in Yankee uh, 8901. We'll now put in the arrival. Uh, it's 26 right. Okay. Let's see if there's a transition that we can use. Mike. There we go. And execute. Go to next page. Go to next page. Verify anything here. Also check for restrictions. Only restriction is at Asmox flight level 8, 0 or above. That is checked. Go to Legwind and we can put in the uh, wind data. Or what you can do as well is in the VNAV put in the data there, which we will do. Once that data is all checked, we check the distance, 321. Let's verify that here. 313, that's fine. And then we can copy the active. We'll then head down, so after legs, performance. Performance in it, cruise altitude is flight level. 330. Our alternate flight plan, uh, flight level is level 240 execute we know we what our fuel is it is 4,005 what 4,595 that should be I think more but no that's fine 4,600 for approximately um, and our zero fuel weight we don't have the load sheet in real life just yet but we're gonna plug it in anyways it's 3292 so 3292. And that should give us a gross weight of 60, 36, 6, 8, 7. Execute that. For our next page, our ISA deviation here is average is plus 9. Our average cruise wind component or winds 
our 230 at 48. Plug that in. And then for the uh, top of the descent, or for the descent and for the cruise, I normally just take flight level 200, so the, the middle um, winds, and plug those in since we don't have any other data really available to us. Seven. And then descent is 237 at 32. That in. Third page, um, we're going to put in our reserves. Estimated time of departure is 13.15. Our reserves is 8.13. And our taxi fuel is 170. Go to VNAV setup. Our target profile is 290 at 0.75. Here it is 300 at 0.77 and then for the descent it's 0 0.77 320 execute and a three degree descent profile for fuel management make sure it's set to predicted make sure this is enabled and if we needed a flex temp we would set that but we don't have a takeoff calculator really so um we leave this blank Go to MFD menu, we skip this, we go to MFD menu and set everything we need to set here. I'm going to go ahead and deselect airports. The pilot flying will set VNAV and the pilot non-flying will set on. So we'll do that and everything else. Pretty much set as, as you desire. I like I like to have my missed approach, my altitude and my speeds. And then range I'll select should also be, should always be enabled. Next we go to radio, make sure that's auto-tuned unless you require some navigation aids. And then we go to index, GORDME, deselect any nav aids you don't need or are unreliable GNS, make sure they're enabled. And then go to FMS and make sure it is set to mag, magnetic, and sync. Once that is done, I'm going to go and select the progress for now. And the FMS is complete. All right, let's do an oxygen test. Obviously very limited in simulation, so we're just going to press the two buttons. Everything else here is checked and set. That is good to go. So, originating checks checklist. Oxygen and mass checked. Audio warning panel checked. Electrical power panel checked. Fire detected. So at this time, we will get our load sheet and all that stuff. Passengers are on board. Fuel is on board. Baggage is on board. Everything's on board. Everything's done. Our load sheet has now arrived. And we'd update our zero fuel weight value, but I mean, we already did all that. So there's no real time boarding, unfortunately, in this airplane. Um, so we can just skip that part and um, already did all that. But what we need to do now is our view speeds and then we have a handy calculator for this. So flaps A is what we'll take, it is dry, and then we just hit select all. Make sure that your speed is selected to V2 plus 10. So um, it is currently set to V2 plus 10, yep. So 153 plus 10 is 163, that's checked. Also set our initial heading. Um, for runway 23, that would be Heading uh, 238. There we go. Our initial altitude is 4,000. Everything else stays as is so for now. We're about five minutes from departure time, so let's go and start the APU. Click the power switch. Verify that it's powered and verify that door then opens. There it is, and we can then start the APU. Once boarding is completed, we'll go ahead and also close the door. Captain, the cabin is secure. All passengers are aboard. We'll release the trucks. and disconnect the um, power unit. There we go. Now we can release the chocks. So before start checklist. Passenger signs. We're on. Landing elevation is set to 1480. Altimeter is set. 
1,230 approximately is checked on all three FMS checked set. IRS is aligned to nav. Radios and nav aids are set. Takeoff briefing is completed. Oh, ready for push. Beacon on. Fuel boost pumps come on. Hydraulics all on and auto. Let's run the packs. Passenger signs are on and parking brake is set. So clear to start. Checklist personal electronic devices are off. APU is on. Electrics are checked. Pickup data is set. Doors are closed and locked. Beacon on. Fuel pumps and quantities on and with 4,595 uh, is checked. Hydraulic panel or hydraulic pumps auto on. Parking brake is on at the moment. I don't have. I don't have pre-planned pushback, so we'll have to just do a straight pushback. I don't know how... What's our name in 2? percent This fuel. Okay, start engine number 1. Our engines are started, generators are set to auto, no pumps are checked, APU can come off, jollies are set, nice, everything is set here, OP comes on, our electrical page, those reversers are armed, and we're checked, flaps are set to 8. Light control page, we'll go and check full up. Pull down, neutral, full left. All right, neutral, butter, full left. All right, neutral. We'll just turn armed. Trims, our takeoff trim for today is seven. This, that's BTMS. Checked. These are set. After start checklist. Generators are auto. Electrics are checked. Bleed valves are auto. Packs are on. APU off. Anti ice off. Nose steering is armed. After start checklist. Well, let's get out of here. Taxi light comes on. We'll taxi out. config okay and fuel we have 1,135 more than we need of the day off. Let's procure to line up. Strobe lights uh, explode to manual. Nation and anti set is required but we don't need that. Don't press Togo. We should take off take off. Transponder. I'll set our weather radar. For now, we've got terrain on. But we just gotta remember our only restriction is 8,000 or above, which is fine. No speed restrictions, nothing like that. That's fine. So before takeoff checklist, lights and strobes are on, fuel explode is manual, flight attendant advised, transponder TCAS on set, radar terrain display set, CAS is checked. Once we get takeoff clearance, 
turn the remaining lights on, start the clock, and we'll go ahead and get out of here. Set toga. Sorry if I'm a little bit sensitive on the controls, I barely fly this airplane. So, I get used to it. You do not suspect. You want to rotate. Other eight gears coming up. Checklist. Well explodes auto leads and APU is set, thrust versus off cast. It's checked. I'm turning this complete.
300. Two hundred. Minimums. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. So that is the end of the flight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback, let me know. So then, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day, and peace.